Hello everyone, this is Kiki, and welcome to my art journey. Today I'm drawing something that I actually sort of created in my head a long time ago, um, back for a book I had attempted to write when I was 14, uh, and they are called... Carl? Wow, I don't even know what I just said. Um, <laughs> they're called Rinjuni. Uh, basically it's the fusion of a wolf and a lion, and they were meant to be like the most magical creatures of this world I had created. And they would only really hang around a person that they felt could make a dramatic change to the world. Other than that, they were very secluded. Um, but I was going through some of my old art and I had, I had found the, the old picture I had drawn of them way, way back when I first started digital art. I was like, yeah, they need a bit of an update. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm fixing them up, changing it a little bit from what I had originally drawn. Um, I decided to do both a male and a female here. The male is the one that's standing and the female is the one that is sitting. As I was working on them, I was kind of coming up with the lore a little bit more as I went. The males are all very brightly colored, and they have more power during the day, whereas the females are more darkly colored and have more power during the night. I'm not sure why I was having trouble getting those words out. Um, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this, and you know, going back to the ideas of the story that I had tried to create, I never finished the story just because as I was doing it, I was also taking a writing class and realized that I was going pretty overpowered with some of my characters, especially the main character, and it's just, at the time, I didn't know how to fix it or change what I had been doing uh, without completely reworking a lot of the ideas I had, and I just never got around to fixing it. I still have the save files for the story, I still have what I had printed out, like I still have it, I still have all the artwork I made for it, I still remember what I was doing with it. I just don't have time. Um, but yeah, I really liked how they came out. I'm not sure if I totally like the idea of all the females being, you know, like the dark type, you know, moon, and the males being more of like the light type sun. The idea kind of came from the fact that with the male, I used more of the lion for the front and the face, a little bit, um, and then for the female, I used more of the wolf, and the lion, you know, is, you know, more of the brightly golden colored like the sun, and wolves are, you know, known for howling for the moon, so that's, that's kind of where that idea had come from. Uh, I added some effects as I went on, just to make them appear a little bit more magical, and overall I'm really really happy with how it came out. I did have a little bit of trouble getting the colors, especially on the male, the way I wanted them to. I knew I wanted him to have more than just a golden color to him, but I wasn't quite sure how bright, or how gold, or how pale, or how whatever. I eventually finally settled on what I settled on, and I'm very happy with the result of it.
Well, that just about wraps up my recreation of my creature, the Rinjuni, the magical wolf lion. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And if you did enjoy it, then please hit the like button. And if you really enjoyed it, I hope that you'll hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you can join me on my arty journey. Until the next time, bye.